대한 대처가 어렵기 때문인데요. 무단 행... In this video, we argue that social media plays a key role in influencing the tension between younger and older generations in contemporary South Korean society. In this context, we define elderly as being at least 65 years old, since this is the age that is being used in the definition of Korea being a super-aged society. The younger generation that we looked at were citizens from 20 until 29 years old. Although the International Labour Organization defines youth age as 15 to 29 years old. Che hang -sup defines four major factors that influences the negative perception of young Koreans towards the elderly in Korean society. But because he is older than our definition of young, he has more of an emic point of view, which examines the younger generation's culture from an outsider's perspective. Therefore, we wanted to cross-check his findings with our interviews and three major aspects became fundamental. First, the negative perception of physical aging and the associated appearance and slowness in judgment and action. Second, the language use, attitude and behavior caused by the manifested historical experiences and values of the elderly. Most of our female interviewees explained this by describing incidents in subway and public transportation. These incidents are actions of the elderly like a punch in the shoulder when trying to pass by or using offensive words towards young Koreans regarding their clothing or behavior. 뭐야? 자리 앉어. 좋아요. 각 자리 앉어. They also taught us about this phrase, such as 남자는 하늘, 여자는 땅, which can be translated to the man is the sky and the woman is the ground or earth, to underline that men are higher in hierarchy than women and women need to be inferior. The phrase 기집애 is being used by older people towards young women and literally translates to girl. But nowadays, it's being used as a bad word meaning bitch, referring to the modern woman's behavior and the way of dressing. Thirdly, we identified the rapid sharing of negative images of the elderly through social media as a major aspect which influences the perception of the young generation towards the elderly. The negative perception of the elderly is expressed on social media, among other things, through language. Expressions and comments like, elderly should be eliminated, or elderly are an unnecessary existence in our society, are only a few of the examples our interviews gave us to show how young Koreans talk about the elderly. During the interviews, we specifically asked the participants to name and explain certain words for us that have to do with the tension between the generations. We were surprised to hear so many different words and it was very interesting to learn about their meaning. Later on, we sorted them into two categories. The first one includes words that have to do with the physical aging process and others are about behavior and traditional values. The most frequently said word for the first category would be Taltak. This word describes the sound of the cracking of an elderly's denture. It is being used with a negative meaning when an elderly talks very loudly and a young person is annoyed by that. But Shelby, for example, defended this behavior of the elderly, saying it is just linked to them not being able to hear well and therefore speaking more loudly. Another word is Sansongjang. It literally means a live corpse. This expression refers to the fact that old people are less mobile than younger people and also don't have as many appointments. They live, but they don't do anything by themselves. No dang are elderly with an outdated mind that are physically weak and powerless in their actions. Powerless and weak can be understood in a physical way, but also, for example, when referring to social media. Looking over to our second category, we are starting off with the term Halmemi. Although almost none of our interviewees would use the word and some haven't even heard of it. They were fast to understand the meaning of it. The word is conjoined from the Korean word for grandmother and Sikara forming the meaning of someone who's talking very loudly and non-stop, which picks up one of the issues being named with the word Taltak. No Inchung has a very similar meaning, also being a conjoined word from old person and insects. 
The different connotation compared to Halmemi lies in an additional meaning of an insect being something that creeps up on you and doesn't want to leave. For example, in the subway, when an elderly tries to insist on a ride for a seat. Konde is probably the most used and mentioned word arising from our interviews. It refers to elderly with authority and outdated views limiting the behavior of young people. Although it refers to outdated views that are associated with the elderly, this word can also be used towards young people when they try to enforce hierarchical systems. Tekukibute refers to the group of supporters of the former president Park Geun-hye. She was evicted for more than 25 years of prison for many different reasons, but a lot of old Koreans advocated for her one reason being that her father was a renowned president himself. With Konde being an exception, our interviewees state that those words are almost exclusively used in social media and not in daily life. Elderly do not engage on social media platforms, which makes the platforms a safe space for the young generation. But because elderly don't have access to the scene, they think their behavior is acceptable because they're not being criticized in person. Therefore, social media is a driving force for fueling the tension. Social media has a great importance when trying to understand the younger generation since they are the primary user of social media platforms. Douglas Kellner makes the importance of media for a society and its developments clear. He states, the internet-based economy deploys spectacle as a means of promotion, reproduction, and the circulation and selling of commodities. He continues by saying that social life is massively influenced and shaped by media spectacle. Media culture provides ever more material for fantasy, modeling thought and behavior, and identities, which is a key factor when looking at how elderly are displayed in social media. When the young generation feels disconnected from the elderly, criticize them or have negative feelings toward the other generation, they express themselves through social media. This gap of the social media is a little bit freedom to generation. At the end of our interviews, we ask each interviewee whether they have anything to add and surprisingly, many use the opportunity to advocate for a change for the generational issue. We also further researched and found other sources advocating for the same. We want to present to you some of the ideas that were being said. One thing that was mentioned a lot was that there were also no actual situations apart from the subway or other public transportations where young people and old people meet. Shelby, majoring in urban planning engineering, told us about the importance of the society of mixed generations and Yerin gave us tangible examples. Well, I think the environment that young generation and old generation meet frequently that is important. For example, the teaching class that seven-year-olds or eight-year-olds children go to the older generation, older people, and they learn about origami or learn some language with the older people. And it makes the young generation or the generation more closer. Others were trying to underline how important it is to understand the older generation because they will be an old person, so they have to be considered. Anyways, we're gonna also get old, so just causing too many like controversy by making weird terms and then uploading videos of them is not good. She's making a point to say that the young generation shouldn't be too hard on the other generation. We were also told about a YouTuber. The interviewees explained it got easier for them to understand old Koreans by watching her vlogs about their everyday struggles in a technical developing society. They simply cannot follow the rapid change of development. <laughs> She has a lot of life lessons and she has a young mind and she's famous and get beloved for many people. So to come to our conclusion, we argued in this video that social media plays a key role in influencing the tension between younger and older generations in contemporary South Korean society. By analyzing contemporary media language, we showed the importance of social media for the young generation. We found out that young Koreans express their frustration and criticism not directly to the elderly, but on social media platforms to which elderly rarely have access to. Younger Koreans want to change, but do not communicate directly with the elderly due to the hierarchical pressure and the fear of losing their good reputation. This tension can only be solved by active communication and the exchange of values.